So I decided to do my presentation on Michelangelo Buonarroti. So um, just a little bit of background about Michelangelo. Um, he was born on March 16th in 1475 in Capri's, Italy. Um, and then he died on February 18th, 1564 in Rome. Um, and Michelangelo was part of the Italian Renaissance movement. So this happened kind of in the really late 1400s and early 1500s and kind of all throughout the 1500s as well, but it started off then. Um, and some notable works of Michelangelo are um, his sculpture, The David, The Last Judgment, and The Creation of Adam, which are both actually in his, probably his most famous work, um, The Sistine Chapel. So The Last Judgment and The Creation of Adam were both um, works within the Sistine Chapel painting. And Pieta is also another one of his most famous works. Um, and then here are just a few images of um, Michelangelo's works. Up in the top left we have um, the David and then moving to the right is the creation of Adam and that is again one of the works that's present in the Sistine Chapel. Um, and then on the bottom left there is a photo of kind of the Sistine Chapel in general, just a broad view of all of it. Um, and in the middle right there, um, that is the Last Judgment um, in that same photo. And then in the photo in the middle is Pieta. And then on the far right is another one of Michelangelo's sculptures. Okay, so um, just a little bit about Michelangelo's early life. Um, although he was born in Capri's, Italy, he was actually raised in Florence. He moved there as a young child, um, and his family was not extremely wealthy. His father really struggled to find government jobs and um, just make a living for the family. Um, so just a little bit about Florence at the time. It was kind of considered the, the center of art in all of Italy. Um, there was many um, additional artists other than Michelangelo. Of course he wasn't um, famous at the time for his works, but um, Leonardo da Vinci was also um, from Florence and he was another notable artist from that area. Um, so, um, Michelangelo's talent was spotted um, at a very young age. I think when he was about 13 years old was when um, his talent really started becoming noticed by the people in Florence and specifically the Medici family. And these were very, this was a very influential family in the Italian Renaissance art period and they had a lot of money and a lot of um, they had the ability to um, pay different young and um, upcoming artists to create works of art for them. Um, and so Lorenzo de Medici really took a liking to Michelangelo and he actually um, had him make a lot of works of art for him. So. Michelangelo first gained popularity for his sculptures. He um, worked on his sculptures first. Um, he didn't really work on paintings until later in his career. And his first painting was, his first sculpture, I'm sorry, was Bacchus. And it was created from 1496 to 1497. And then that really sparked everyone's interest in his sculpture career. And that sculpture in specific, uh, in particular, um, led to the commission of Pieta in 1498. And Pieta is actually still present in St. Peter's Basilica. Um, and then moving a little farther into his career, he created the very famous David sculpture. So I included a quote from Michelangelo where he said, I saw the angel in the marble and I carved until I set him free. And I thought this was just a really important quote um, 
regarding to his early life career um, because that's when he focused mainly on sculptures and I just thought this was a really inspiring quote. Okay, so moving on to middle life. So, um, in the middle of Michelangelo's career was really when he started taking off his um, career in paintings. And his most common type of painting was fresco paintings. And that's actually what the Sistine Chapel is. That's a fresco painting. Um, so, back to the Sistine Chapel. He was, Michelangelo was commissioned by Pope Julius II to paint the Sistine Chapel, and he painted it in the Vatican, and for those of you who are unfamiliar with the Vatican is, it's Vatican City, it's its own country actually, um, really close to Rome, Italy, um, and that's like where the Pope lives and where the center of the Catholic Church is. Um, and here... Uh, Michelangelo created the Sistine Chapel, and that's perhaps his most renowned work. Um, it's com extremely influential in the Italian Renaissance, and also just it's a lasting work of art that even those who are not very e well educated on art are familiar with. Um, so the Sistine Chapel, it took Michelangelo four years to paint it and he suffered from a lot of physical injuries from this because he was working lying down on his back on extremely tall ladders and stuff um, painting the ceiling of this vast cathedral um, and so like I said earlier the last judgment and the creation of Adam are two paintings present in the Sistine Chapel um, painting and these two are possibly the um, most renowned works within the Sistine Chapel painting. Okay, so here I just included a picture of the Vatican, just since that was where Michelangelo spent four years of his career painting the Sistine Chapel, and that is just an extremely influential work of art. Okay, so later life. Um, after Michelangelo really reached the peak of his career with um, all of his sculptures and paintings. He was still commissioned by Pope Julius II to work on smaller works of art and um, just kind of dedicating art to people who had passed away and different things like that. Um, and one of the things that Pope Julius II really wanted Michelangelo to focus on was his tomb for when he died. And Michelangelo did um, focus on that a lot until Pope Julius died in 1513 and at that point um, there just wasn't a lot of funding for Pope Julius's tomb. Um, no one really um, wanted Michelangelo to focus on that any longer. Um, so then came Pope Leo V um, and he was the Pope proceeding after Pope Julius and he had Michelangelo working on smaller works until about the 1530s and then um, as well as those smaller yet very detailed works um, Michelangelo continued working on tombs in the 1530s and he was creating them for the Medici family. Okay so um, during the final years of Michelangelo's life he focused less on sculptures and paintings mainly because of his physical inability. Like I would mentioned before um, he suffered from a lot of injuries and a lot of straining on his body from the Sistine Chapel especially when he was having to work at those um, paint at those great heights and in extremely uncomfortable positions and then as well um, as that the his sculptures really um, impose a lot of physical strain on him because it's hard labor. Um, so he did begin to focus more on architecture in modern Rome because he was able to channel his design and his creativity into um, the architecture and allow um, different architects and construction workers to actually execute his designs. Um, he also focused on poetry at this time and he made some really unique Italian sonnets and he really did continue working um, on his art up until the day he died in 1564 and Michelangelo certainly has a lasting legacy um, on the entire world after his 
extremely influential career and I think everyone, even if they aren't very familiar with uh, many works of art, are, are familiar with Michelangelo and really do um, value his works. Um, then here are my citations and that's about it. Thank you.